So to start the engine is really quite simple. Just need to make sure the uh, throttle's on low, choke's pulled out, and uh, the operate the ignition. So if it gets jammed up, it's usually um, easy to fix by undoing those bolts that I've just shown. And then uh, yep, you can move this around and find out where the piece of wood is that's, uh, that's jammed it. What I would say though is, as you can see there, that's the uh, that's a cutting blade. And this flywheel is extremely heavy, so if you get any momentum, if you get it jammed and you start trying to prise it and then it frees, this thing doesn't stop, it carries on spinning with the, with the inertia. And, uh, yeah, you'll end up losing a finger or breaking some fingers. There's lots of things on this side, which could catch your fingers if you weren't, uh, weren't ready. So I always use a piece of wood just to push this around and try and find out where the piece of wood is or the chips that are, uh, that are jamming it. If 
when you've taken those two bolts off and, uh, and opened up you still cannot get to the piece of wood that's jammed in there. The only thing I've ever had to do previously is undo this one and it's a bit difficult because the other side of this is actually inside the chute so you end up taking some of the chute off but you open that and then you can actually access all the way all the way down here I, mean, I have had some pieces jammed in there when uh, you know, when I was first starting out and I was feeding two bigger pieces or two longer pieces. So as you can see this, uh, you know, this, this cutter here is pretty sharp. It's, uh, it's not had a great deal of use since I last had it sharpened. Swapping it out is pretty easy. undo all of those bolts so the uh, two bolts that you can see protruding they're the adjusters so you can adjust the length of the cutting blade and the other four bolts that are there they're just to clamp it down it's a 10 minute job to swap out the blades once you've got them swapped out as mentioned you use these adjusting screws to adjust depth of cut of this edge. You can't see it in here but there is a, there's an anvil that this cuts up against um, and you have to give that a dimension, it's in the instruction manual, it gives that a set dimension, it's only a couple of millimetres and that's when you get the best cutting operation and also the auto feed works much better when uh, it's a tight, tight dimension in there. And that is the tiny gap that I'm talking about. A small gap that you can see between the cutting blade and the anvil. 